I do not believe that semi-automatic rifles should be banned at all. Um, so that's the first thing. But um, your, your Australia example, violent crime actually increased. So you have to look at the entire ecosystem of crime, not just mass shootings, because mass shootings actually account for a small percentage of all gun-related deaths in America. They get the most amount of media attention. They get the most amount of sadness and thinking. But they actually contribute to a small sliver of the percentage of all gun-related crime. Do you know what the biggest part of gun-related crime in America? Anyone? Suicides. Do so you know 66% of that 33,000 figure about gun crime is suicides? You know we're the only country in the world to count death by suicide as a gun death. So all of a sudden you remove that, we have 11,000 gun deaths every single year. It's a lot less than 33,000. So the gun advocates say, oh, com confiscate the guns because of 33,000 gun deaths every single year. Well, technically that's true because of how we, you know, we calculate the data. It's very, very deceiving. I would argue that's more of a mental health issue and a systemic cultural issue than it is an actual vehicle to gun. So I have 11,000, about 300 to 500 of those 11,000 are accidental discharges, are people that are at shooting ranges, they're in their basement, and they die because of a firearm that they were mishandling or that they weren't handling properly. Three to 500 a year. So that goes down to 10,500. Then about another 500 out of that is actual warranted means of self-defense. So it still counts as a gun death, but it's not murder. If, if, if someone walks into your house with a, with a battle ax to kill you, and you kill that person with a pistol, that's a gun death, it's not a murder. Big difference. That's a rightful means of self-defense. So you get to there, it's about 10,000. 90%, I'll repeat that, 90% of that remaining 10,000, 90% is with handguns in urban areas and gang-related violence. 90%. Now what, what, drives gun, what drives gang violence? Is it the weapon itself? Of course not. It just isn't. It just isn't. In Chicago, we look at it, it's, it's, it's 20 square blocks where you have the most pa failing public schools, where you have the most broken families, the police are really not, you know, they're not welcome culturally in a lot of those areas. And I always find it interesting that in the gun control debate, when the statistics are that heavily slanted in that direction, immediately when something bad happens, the first thing that is said is somehow I have to give up my weapon because I did nothing wrong. Because I do it responsibly, I manage it properly, I store it correctly, I obey the laws, and it's my fault. I have to give up a weapon because some lunatic did something that had nothing to do with what I did. I completely and totally reject that.